Greetings and welcome back to SmartwatchTix.com. Got a box here from Sinbono with a 1.3 inch 466 by 466 screen resolution AMOLED always on. Oh, that's a mouthful. Yes, you've seen it before by a different name. How many of you watched the comparison video we just finished of the uh, Z-Blaze Vibe 7 Pro and the Cospet Tank T2? Well, you're in for a treat. This is this puppy right here. Really, really similar to one of those two. How many of you recognize? Yay! Good for you. You won the prize. Well, I'm not going to actually send it to you, but I'm going to review it for you. Sinbono also sent out some smart glasses, just so you're not stuck watching the same review on a different case over and over again. We are going to take a look at Sinbono's smart glasses today as well. But first, I want to get you into this one, which is... From AliExpress, the Sinbono official store, available for about $45 or cheaper with coupons, the AMOLED 1.3 inch large screen, yeah, beautiful, beautiful watch in terms of overall specs. Here we go. We've got uh, Android uh, 8 or above and iOS 12 or above for phones that will be able to tether with it with the FitCloud Pro. Did that give it away? Which one is it like? You've got all of these other features, IP68 deep waterproof. I guess that's not quite saying uh, 3 or 5 ATM, but definitely swimmable. Uh, 400 milliamp hour battery, Bluetooth calling, and all the traditional specs that you expect on this one are here. Uh, it is by Sinbono, and it's actually the DM50, although they haven't branded it per se in the way that they're offering it. When we get into it, you'll see that that's what it is. So we've got the watch module here. Set the glasses aside for a minute. Inside, simple, simple. We've got the charging wire, which is your standard two-pin magnetically coupled connection. You've got bands to assemble with the watch. You've got a user manual, and you've got a quick guide. Now, the quick guide is just that, quick guide, and we haven't seen this really before, but I think you're going to see this on several different um, watches that use the flit, ca flit cowed plow. Wow. You think I messed it up? Flit cloud plow? Well, here you go. It is not fit could pro. No, it's not. Not at all. It's fit Cloud Pro. Anyway, for tethering, they've got a quick and easy guide on how you set it up to tether it to your phone. And I really appreciate them doing this because it makes it so easy. Um, just follow it. You'll be able to do it. By the way, if you accidentally put in FitCut Pro, it'll Google, Google smart enough to let you know. No, no, no. It's really Fit Cloud Pro. The user's manual is here. There's our QR code again for downloading the app. And more information. It's a very wordy manual, so you get some detailed information if you're of the mindset that reading is a good way of learning rather than looking at pictures. Um, and then it goes on into different languages. So I am going to assemble it and, and we'll put it together and start playing with it. But before I do that, I do want to let you know, because some of you guys might be tuning out, that there are uh, new glasses on the market. These are the Sinbono Smart Glasses. They're really nice. We're going to unbox that in a little bit and you'll see the thin frames. They sound really, really good. They're about $40 or so. They're using Bluetooth 5 and... We will go into detail in a minute on uh, the basic specs and all the different things you touch and what they do. But right now, let's go on with the watch. Here we go. Easy to assemble. We have a little cover that we can pull off. It's a film. It's not the actual screen protector. So you can take that off, press the button, give it a moment to boot up, and... Hello! We're greeted with a hello as opposed to a Z Blaze or a Cospit brand and a really colorful watch face. I downloaded this one from the Tethering app. They have a pool of them. You've seen lots of them. I just really wanted to show you something different and very vivid. We're going to dive in here and show you what it looks like. But first, I want to switch it to the always-on display. It's an analog 
looking pair of hands very similar but slightly different to Z-Blaze Vibe 7 Pro. Yep, that's the one that it's patterned after. You can see the case is slightly different. The layout's different. So now you have some choices between um, the case design. If you like something that's got the numbers around it, like a tachometer says smartwatch, the Sinbono is what uh, is in store for you. If you want labeling with some red highlights around the edge, then um, the Z-Blaze. So very, very similar. As we get into it, you'll see, well, basically... The layouts are the same. The positions of everything are the same. So we'll walk through this one just knowing that the only difference between the two are the analog hands on the display. The digital uh, always-on displays are identical between them. They have the always-on or, or twist your wrist to light them up, which is why they keep coming back here. Um, and, and a few of the watch faces are different. So as you look at these, you can see this is a custom one that I put in. This is a stock one. Here we go with... Uh, that's the custom one that I downloaded here. So you have two stock faces, that one and that one. On this watch, that's one stock face. This is the other one. And then the third one on both of them... Oh, wait a minute. You have another one here. Look at that. Okay, that's a sideways one. So when it's on your arm and you turn it, not all the way horizontal, it'll be, wow, cool, pointed right at you. Uh, and then you come over here. There's the custom one. So I've got one, two, three stock faces with one custom one here. Let's play with that one. On the Z-Blaze, we had two, I believe, and a custom one. There's the custom one. One, two. Yep. All right, so you get one additional watch face uh, available all the time on the watch on the um, Sinbono one. You pull down, you got all the different controls. You got your settings, which shows you your menu style, which are the different ways that your actual um, apps will show up. I use the style three because that's the linear one, easier to see, but you get the round ones and the bubble and stuff like that. Your display is where you can come in here. Hello, come back to me. There we go. The watch faces we switch. The brightness is where you can control the overall brightness. Nice and super bright. Gets really good and bright. It'll wash the colors out on the video, so we kind of keep it a little bit lower for doing the video. Screen time now. This is when it's on its natural screen time when you've activated it. It'll go for 30 seconds before turning off. Your raise to wake time can go from 2 to 6 seconds. That's when you twist your wrist. How long will it stay lit up before it turns out? The longer, the lower or faster your battery will drain. The always on display for the clock. Look at that. I don't know why it's locking up on me. That's something I hadn't experienced before, but I'm showing it to you live here. Back into display. AO. Here we go. We are an analog. You can turn it off and it'll go black uh, when you uh, have it go off rather than into a display. When you go into the digital, this is what it looks like. It's really soft, not very bright. Time. You got your uh, metrics for heart rate and step count. You got the date information on the side. Can you see that? We've got that. We've been through here, right? The battery, vibration, intensity, languages, QR code. If you want to see any of the details on this, watch the Vibe 7 Pro review because we cover them all in a lot more detail. I'm just whipping through it because otherwise it's identical. The flashlight's the same. This makes the screen fully bright. Wow, that's giving a flickering effect for uh, the, the camera. If you're seeing flickering, it's not at all that way on the watch. It's just the interplay, but the beat frequencies between the two. This turns on and off Bluetooth calling. The Bluetooth callings are very much the same. The volume's the same. It works the same, uh, exactly the same. This is your do not disturb. You can turn that on if you want to. And this is a power savings mode that'll disconnect the Bluetooth um, for you as well. So you have a little bit of battery management capabilities there. This way gets into all of your apps. We'll come back to that. This way you go through all of the different things like your step count information, heart rate, 
Now, I haven't done any of these. Last night's sleep information. You want to see all of the stuff it'll gather. Again, the Vibe 7 Pro review has um, data on it, and so you can see what it looks like. Weather, when it's tethered, it'll push the weather to the screen. Your music player here that will play the music from your phone through the speaker on the watch, and you can control the volume forward, backward, play, pause, all of that. And you can add one more thing here if you want to, and there is one more, workouts. So I can add that, and now workouts are there too. After music, you'd have walking, running, treadmill, all of those. Now, coming up, we'll get you your messages pushed from your phone if you have any. And now we come over here. All of these apps in the exact order, exactly the same as on the uh, Vibe 7 Pro. Your telephone stuff, your voice assistant, data, workout records. You've got heart rate, sleep, and blood oxygen readings. You've got messages and weather. And ladies, you got the female cycle thing. By the way, if you haven't set it up in the app and put in your barometrics it barometrics that's off anyway it'll just say function isn't enabled but if you do that and it's tracking you you'll get more uh, of where you are in your cycle uh, and of course you want to register as a female if you're going to be using that music breath training stopwatches all that's the same nothing changes and of course qr code uh, set time you can do directly um, we looked at all of those things already. And in system, of course, you have the system info, which is where we find that this is the DM50. That's the model number on the Vibe 7 Pro. You'll see that name right there, but all the other stuff in the firmware is a little bit different, of course. Uh, but other than that, they're the same. So this is the watch. We're not going to really go into the app since we also have covered that extensively. But I do want to show you this little box I stuck my film on here let me move that off with the smart glasses yep we'll get back and summarize uh, in here you have two things that open yep one reveals the glasses themselves and they are nice they are they're, they're two different versions although I think that right now they're just selling the the ones like this that are true sunglasses and then there's the blue blocker kind but all of your electronics and everything for making this work are in these very thin handles and as you find that empties this one out when you open here you get into the charger and it's a really new, unique two-headed usb to two pin connectors that will actually connect up here like this when you set the glasses down and it'll charge the batteries in both sides no more of those great big bulky things no more heavy duty um, weight when you carry them around they're very very lightweight you have a little cleaning cloth and then you have the overall manual I'm not going to go into a lot of detail it's in various languages English being the first one and each page is unique you do want this one Chinese to English language switching you have to tap it four times boom 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 where do you tap it right here at that little metal thing on the side right there that little red area so four taps will change it from Chinese to English you need to know that because it comes up in Chinese to begin with. So what else does it do? Here you go. You have one-handed smart touch tap to complete the command for incoming calls. You tap two times. For uh, music playback, you've got instructions here. For wake uh, the voice assistant, yep, you can do your okay um, I, I didn't say it did it I didn't I didn't trigger you but your trigger word or your uh, Siri trigger word um, you've got the remote t uh, picture capability so when you have it set up you just put your camera in the or your phone in the camera mode there's no app associated with it it just pairs like you would pair regular earbuds but it should activate the camera to take a picture simply by touching the sides of your glasses yep and then you got volume up volume down or you can adjust the volume directly from your um, phone as well 
RAM, ROM, model number is E10, and some basic stuff. Again, it's available from Sinbono, and uh, we showed you the link on that. Let me tell you, this uh, overall is very, very nice. It's got decent sound, not excessive bass, mind you, but to make a phone call, yep, you can hear it, and the other person can hear you just fine. To play music, you can hear it. It sounds okay. You know, uh, if you're going to go out jogging or walking around, or if you just want to be incognito in the office and listening to your favorite podcasts while you're working, uh, this could do it. Nice. Very nice. Back to the watch. This is pretty much, as I say, an identical uh, body of the Z-Blaze Vibe 7 Pro. And it just has a slightly different analog uh, display on it. But other than that, really everything else, the functions are the same and the tethering app is the same. See how it's brighter now? Because we, uh, we lit it up a bit more than we have here. I'm going to bring it down here and we got them pretty much the same now. So price-wise is what you could look at to see which one is uh, least expensive if you like this model. Uh, the design of the cases is another factor. The bands are basically the same. The weight's the same. The battery life's the same. They're made by the same factory. So totally up to you what you'd like to do. If you're interested in it, you can get it from, uh, again, the AliExpress store, uh, the Sinbono official store on AliExpress. And we got a um, price of about $45, a little less. And, uh, oh, yeah, it has NFC in it. Both of them do. Uh, they're used mostly for unlocking locks, not for doing any financial transactions. So keep that in mind. And if you are interested in the glasses you just saw, we've got those also over at the Sinbono official store. Um, you could pick up a pair of those as well. All righty, gang, there you have it. <laughs> Christmas in July almost. Well... Glasses and a smartwatch. What more could you want in life, huh? You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. Thanks for being here. We'll see you again soon.